Welcome people of YouTube, this is List of Deaths bringing you some League of Legends footage. Now, um, this is Poro King, so this is a special game mode. And if you guys have not heard of League of Legends, you need to crawl up under that rock that you're chilling under. No, I'm just kidding. It's a MOBA, um, which, uh, basically, like, is a battle arena, so, uh, like I said, it's five heroes or whatever versus five other heroes and you battle to cap basically tug of war until you guys kill off each other's bases so that's the general concept now um about this poro game mode here um you throw something and then you can teleport straight to the person you threw it at or if you summon the king by hitting 10 people with poros then you can just teleport to him by pressing your d button well that's what it shows for me so um i am playing lee sin which I love Lee, he's like my main jungler. Um, so a little bit about like my life in League a little bit. Um, I've been playing League for about five years now. Maybe four years now, something, something along them lines. Since like is real, is um, the ending of season one. So about f almost <laughs> five years, <laughs> if anything. So uh, I am platinum, and I just got platinum this season because I decided to try. And... Uh, put a lot of effort into it, and I made plat pretty easily. Now, um, next year I'm gonna end up, you know, trying to get diamond. And the only reason why that, you know, I sort of don't really want to try as hard now is because the marksman update, guys. Like, I don't know if you guys, if you guys play League, right? And you know what I'm talking about. The new marksman update just ruins the game. It makes it to where all ADCs are just too powerful, and you know, just like when an ADC shoot you one time doing 75% of your HP and you're supposed to be your carry or whatever or uh, you know AP carry or whatever it's ridiculous especially the the ones with the newer updates the ones with changed features and stuff like that like Corky, Quinn, MF you know all them I recently got changed Kog'Ma, Graves, Caitlyn I think that might be most of them so that's the only bad part now um, seriously, if you guys have not tried this game out, go try it. This will, like, you'll be addicted, but then you will also break friendships if you ever play the friends. So, yeah, it's a good life ruiner, I can tell you that. Um, but yeah, this game is really fun and it's exciting because it has so much different skills, so much different, um, tactics. And, um, I would say that tactically this game is just crazy. Think about it, okay? You have to pick... Certain champions, all right, that correspond with your team. That also counters their team. Build items that correspond with your team. Also counters their team. Do quick decisions depending on what the situation is in order for you to get the best outcome so you can win that fight. And knowing when to go in, when to go out, when to last hit. Um, how to make someone not last to like stop them from last hitting. By putting pressure on them, it's just it's just a lot of different things to it, you know, and um, it's a lot like that for a lot of other games too. You know, don't get me wrong; I'm not saying this is like the most tactical game on the world, but I am saying it does require teamwork. Um, I mean, seriously, have you guys ever seen the finals? And it, better yet, have you guys ever seen the Korean finals? How they only have like, you know, like five or six kills at the end of a Korean match, and it's just like a war between going back and forth. And it's whoever gets misplaced ends up losing. Yeah, it's like it literally gets that bad. So, yeah. But, yeah, what can I say about League, man? This is like my pride and joy. I love this game. And, you know, aside from all the tactics and everything from it, a few things that brought me in it. I'm going to use my girlfriend as an example as well. Um, that made League literally what, like, League changed my life. I can tell you that. Like, Without League, I wouldn't have met the girl of my dreams that's literally staying at my house right now, who I considerably just try really hard to um, make good videos so I can end up somehow making money besides, you know, yeah, I go to college and I do work, but um, entering the work field is a lot more stressful when you're, like, during college, so I chose not to do that. And um, I hope you were like, dude, that's lazy. I know, but I'd rather get really good grades in college than um, get average grades and be working my ass off at some minimum wage job. As long as my parents are helping me, 
then I'm just gonna try to take as much as possible, you know. But um, like I was saying, League changed me several several different ways by my wife, and along with her, um, she actually, um, besides like she's went through depression, right, and went and um, basically like went through depression during League. Start well, not during, but before she started playing League. Then she found, came up across League and started playing, and it helped her out of it. Um, she made plenty of friends and enemies, and I made plenty of friends and enemies, but that comes with every game. So it took her out of depression. It made me want to actually start streaming due to like people like Dunky, and not just streaming and videos and stuff. Like those people, you know, sort of encouraged me. You know, I was sort of inspired by them, and. You know, I just think it's it's awesome. I mean, I know the environment, people talk shit, and it's just league for you, you know, like, deal with it. That comes with almost every online game. There's always going to be that one person that talks major trash, and it's just going to be ridiculous. So, um, like I said, it's basically every sort of game is like that. But, um, league is always good because it's refreshed, alright? When you play league, you're going to get an update every single Thursday, alright? Maybe even another one on Tuesday, depending on what time of, like, what, if it's a new champion or not, alright? And, um, they make sure that they keep the game fresh. Like, every season they add new things. Like, season 5 they added the damn turtle, and I'm like, what the hell? Oh, well, it's called Scuttle Crab, I should say. And, you know, I was like, oh, this is actually pretty cool, and it ends up turning itself into wards. And now season 6, they don't have any mana pots, they don't have any wards, well, vision wards, besides your trinket. And, you know... Generally, like, I, I, now that I played it, like, when I first heard it, I did not like the idea. I'm like, no, there's no way that this can happen. Or I'm gonna blow my fucking shit, dude. Like, I'm gonna be like, what the hell? Why the hell is this happening? Played a little bit of it, understood. And they buffed everyone's mana regen and everything. So, you know, generally you don't really need... You shouldn't be, like, level 18 having to buy mana pots. You know what I mean? Like, so... Oh, but look at that clean kill right there, but not such a clean getaway. Oh, I ended up getting away. I didn't even know that, guys. Sorry, I thought this was the part where I died. I know I died like this before. Tom Kench with the save, though. Look at that. That was beautiful. Um, there is, like, over 130, I think it is now. It might be still 120, but um, I think it might be over 130 different champions you get to pick. All right, so let's just add that up a quick All right, bit. Um, so that would equal what? 13, 26, 26, that's 52, so that's 520 different skills you would have to master if there's 130, you know, just, that's just crazy, alright, then you also got your, um, your D and your F, depending on what game mode you play, this one, you don't get to choose, but other ones you get to choose, like Flash and all that stuff, so, um, that's also, that adds to the skill to it. And every single item you build will literally compact, or not compact, I should say, um, could make a difference in your game. I can't believe it's a compact, what the fuck that was even thinking there. But I'm going to leave it in the video, because you know what? I'm going to be real with you guys. Some people only make one video every week, some people make one video every day, some people make one, one video every, you know, few days, you know. But I'm going to let you know, making two videos a day is crazy, and I am willing to do it. So, um, yeah. You know, just doing... Doing what I love to do. This is my dream, you know. I could do this my whole life and not get bored, honestly. It's just, you know, gaming has just been my life, you know. I've been gaming ever since I was a diapers and Mario Kart and everything in between. So, um, that's basically it about this game. I mean, I've had plenty of more experiences, which I will love to talk about, um, any type of video. But that is basically it for now. Um, like, comment, subscribe to every other YouTuber asked for, asked for the same thing, thank you for every single view that you guys give, I do appreciate it, and uh, I guess I'm going to leave the video running and I'm going to be out, so uh, anyways guys, peace.
What? This game. Did I approve this shit again? 22. Really? Like, you saw that all coming a mile away, totally. I'm gonna get rid of this bloody Moro thing. Are you serious? That nigga ain't dead yet? You think you can fight me? You think you can fight me? Oh, you probably can. What is life? The heck? Oh my goodness. I saw that. Well, I'm here. You know. Alright, come on. We're, we're, we're gonna... <laughs> oh? That's it. Can I auto attack for please? Jesus, game. Kill the stupid Poro King. Mill. Holy crap, he does a lot. <laughs> Stand right there. What? I hate Ramus. I actually hate Ramus for that. 
Are you guys ready for this? Oh, I ain't going in. Oh yeah, you're dead. I'm alive. <laughs> Dude, what am I doing? Really, what am I doing? Damn, yes. Fuck. I'm Screw it, I'm picking Draven next game. Draven looks fun. No Leona. 